Hi, I'm Peg from Sony, and I'm going to show you how to turn on parental controls in Windows 7 on your VIO PC. Parental controls is a feature that is available on all Windows 7 versions. Parental controls gives you a great deal of control over when your child can log into Windows and for how long. It will allow you to block which types of programs can be used and can allow you to block video games by title or rating. Parental Controls works by using two different common types of user accounts, administrative users and standard users. Administrative users have complete control over the system, while standard users are much more restricted and cannot make any major changes to the system settings. To begin using Parental Controls, you must first have your own administrative user account protected with a password. If there is no password on your own administrative account, your child will simply be able to click on your account and bypass any parental restrictions you have set on the PC. Once your login account is password protected, you need to create a standard user account profile for your child if you haven't done so already. To create a standard user account, you must already be logged into your own administrator account. Click Start, click Control Panel. Type User into the Control Panel search box. Click to open the User Account Configuration screen. Click Manage Another Account. Then click Create a New Account. Type in a name for your child's account and make sure it is set to a standard user. Then click Create Account. Your child's account can also be password protected if you like, but you will be able to put restrictions on this user, whether there is a password on it or not. Once you have a user account for your child, Reopen Control Panel. Type the word Parent in the search box in the upper left corner of the Control Panel window. Click on Parental Controls in the Parental Controls window. If you see a message warning about passwords, this means that there is at least one administrative account on the PC which is not password protected. Parental restrictions will not work if a child can simply click on an administrative account to log in without a password. Restrictions you set in parental controls will not affect any administrative user accounts. Click on the username of your child. Once you see the parental controls setup screen shown here, you will first need to turn parental controls on. After controls are enabled, when you click time limits, you will find a calendar grid which allows you to control when your child can log on to the PC. You can click on individual time squares or click and drag the mouse over multiple groups of squares at a time. Each square designates one hour of the day for each day of the week. For any blocks of time where the squares are set to blue, your child will not be allowed to log into Windows, even if he or she has the password and types the password incorrectly. What your child will see is a message stating, time restrictions prevent logging on, and to try again later. When you click to view game settings, you will find the ability to block or allow all games, limit games by rating level, or to block or allow games by title. The specific game settings shows a list of all currently installed games, along with the Entertainment Software's rating board rating for the game. The rating levels are explained just above the list of games. In addition, you can allow or block specific programs. You have the option to allow your child to use all programs 
or only programs that you select. For additional controls, you can enforce a standard user account, including blocking of inappropriate websites, logging of all standard user activity on the PC. You must use Windows Live parental controls, which are provided free from Microsoft and only require that you create a Windows Live login account.